So this player in the midst of his career told Eddie Shore to stick it and within a few weeks he was a Stanley Cup winner. Sounds like an interesting story and it is. Today we're going to be talking about the legend of Keith Allen. Now Keith made the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1992 for his dedication to hockey on numerous levels. Now Courtney Keith Allen, also known as Bingo, uh, was a Canadian ice hockey defenseman in the NHL uh, as well as a head coach and GM. He was born in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and he was also the executive vice president of the Flyers, a position he held from 1980 for the rest of his life. Now, Allen played junior hockey for the Saskatoon Quakers in 41, and then joined the Washington Eagles of the Eastern Amateur Hockey League for the 42 season, followed by a year with the Buffalo Bisons of the AHL. Now, during the Second World War, he played on the Saskatoon Navy hockey team, and then played the 46th season in a WCSHL with the Saskatoon Elks. Now, 46, Allen decided to join the Springfield Indians of the AHL, for whom he played the next five seasons. The Indians moved to Syracuse in 51, became the, the Warriors, and he was a steady presence in the lineup for the next two and a half seasons. However, in February 54, Warriors owner Eddie Shore tried to assign Allen to the Springfield Indians of the Quebec Hockey League, but he, along with several other players, balked, and he was eventually suspended. He was then sold to Detroit Red Wings two weeks later. He played 10 games with Detroit in the 54 season and appeared in the playoffs, getting his name engraved on a Stanley Cup. Allen played another 18 games for Red Wings at 55, which would be the end of his NHL uh, playing uh, career. But this is where it got interesting. Now, he spent most of the 55 season in the WHL with the Edmonton Flyers, the legendary team, which was Detroit's farm squad, whose roster included Hockey Hall of Fame inductees, Johnny Busick, Normie Ellman, Glenn Hall, Al Arbor, and player coach Bud Poyle. He then played one season with the Brandon Regals before being hired by the Seattle Americans as player head coach of 56. He retired as a player in 57 to become a full-time coach. Now, from 56 to 65, Allen was a head coach of the WHL with the Seattle American Seattle Totems with only one losing season in eight years. With the NHL expansion in 67, Allen was hired as the first head coach of the Flyers with his former coach and teammate Bud Poyle as GM. In their inaugural season, the Flyers finished first place overall in their division with the best record among the six new teams. They fell to third place in division for 69, and Allen then became the Flyer GM while serving the same capacity with the Quebec Aces at the same time. There, he would construct the famed Broad Street Bullies that led the Flyers to two Stanley Cups, in 74 and 75. He was also he also helped start the AHL's Maine Mariners, one of the most successful Friday franchises in that league's history. Now, Allen was an elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame as a builder in 92 when he was the executive vice president of the Flyers. Now, uh, Allen was married to the beautiful Joyce Webster for 65 years. Together, they had a daughter, Tracy, and two sons, Brad and Blake. Relocating from Seattle in the 1960s, he and his wife, Joyce, settled in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. Now, due to a declining health in his later years, he lived in the care of an assisted living community along with his wife in Newton Square, Pennsylvania. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away on February 4th, 2014. He was uh, 60 years of age. Now, the record with the Flyers in 68, 31, 32, and 11. Second year, 20, uh, 35, and 21. But like I said, his induction in the Hockey Hall of Fame was a tremendous uh, recognition because, uh, you know, the dedication he showed to hockey. And it wouldn't have had occurred if Eddie Shore would have kept his mouth shut. Eddie Shore would diminish his uh, players, uh, you know, playing mind games. And Keith, uh, you know, from what I heard and uh, as proven Hall of Fame, he had a mind for hockey. And he felt he was being disrespected. And sometimes one moment, and a lot of people that look at Keith Allen's life pointed at Eddie Shore moment as saying, listen, hockey players have value. I have value. You can't diminish me just because you think so. And uh, Keith uh, was good with his players. He was good, uh, uh, you know, developing uh, in uh, the farm system. A good, you know, a good Saskatoon boy, as we like to say. So that's the legend of Keith Allen. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And like I said, if you like what we're doing, tell your friends and check our archives here 
for the ongoing updates to our NHL Vintage Sports File columns. Thanks. Have a good